Hello cookies, it's Siri, I'm back and today I'm going to show you how I improve the way I do my makeup in four simple steps that are actually working even if it's just a really natural and simple makeup. So it's going to turn your makeup from something that looks amateurish to something that is really clean, really neat and that looks like you spent a lot of time on it. I'm going to start by showing you how I used to do my makeup. I'm going to try to make it look good, so it's not going to be a caricature version of the makeup. I'm going to try to make it look really good, but then I'm going to show you how I improved the each step to make it look even better. So first of all, my face is already moisturized and I'm going to take this start foundation. So this foundation doesn't really match my skin tone 100%. It is a little bit too light and that is something that I used to do actually it's a mistake that I used to make but I was never really careful I used to never wear any base so I had no makeup base or anything like that and I used to just apply it with my fingers it works well with the hands actually but at the same time sometimes I feel like there are places like here and here and some corners where you really wish you had a brush and or a beauty blender and mind you I used to never wear concealer for some weird reason, I always thought that concealer was just something that was too extra and unnecessary. So I never wore, wore concealer before. I just used to put my foundation where my eyes were, as in where my dark circles are, and just roll with the flow and think that it's actually okay like that. After my foundation, I used to always powder, which at least is good. Before, I never powdered because I thought that that was unnecessary as well. It's like when I was, I don't know, 16, 17 and I knew nothing about makeup. So now I know a little bit better, as in when I did this makeup, I knew a little bit better, so at least I powdered myself. And this is basically how my base used to look like. So as you can see, it is really not full coverage. You can still see my acne here. And uh, I've been breaking out quite a lot in the last weeks because I did a second trial of a really expensive serum that I bought. I think even a year ago, I bought a really expensive serum. And the first time I tried it, it broke me out like crazy the whole week. So I told myself that I would wait a few months and try it again and now I'm really forcing it because it is so expensive that I'm like, I bought this serum, it is expensive, I'm going to use it even though it breaks me out. So it has, you know, it has been bad with my skin and usually the way I do my base makes it so that you don't see those like the redness and my under eye circles and the base is usually much better. Next step is the eyebrows and I'm going to use this Front Row Cosmetics Auburn Eyebrow Pencil. For the first two years that I did my eyebrows, I used to take first black. I know, like, that's really bad. I did it maybe twice and then I realized by myself that it just looked way too weird. And then I went all the other way opposite that just didn't make any kind of sense but i just decided that okay since black looked awful i'm going to take the complete opposite and go for the lightest shade so i used to take the lightest brown and i would just feel it kind of without really trying to give it any kind of shape but just feel it and you can already see that it looks painted because when you take a shade that is way too light, it doesn't look natural, it just looks like it's painted because you can see that my real hairs are black and then there's just brown color in there and I used to think it was okay because honestly I still believe that it is way better than the black because the black made it so that from five kilometers away you could see my eyebrows you could see two huge black caterpillars I'm going to try and make them look like how I used to do them so I used to not really shape them that much, just kind of make it a little bit long here. For my eyes, I used to not put anything at all because this is supposed to be the natural look that, you know, I can rock every day. So I wasn't really worrying that much because I wanted the whole thing to look as natural as possible and to look like I don't have makeup on. So the eyes would just be bare like this, like nothing at all. And uh, since I don't have any eyelashes, it looks really weird because the powder 
sticks on my lashes and make them look really really pale and I look like I have no eyelashes. The last step that I would do was always the lips and today I'm going to use Strange Love by Sugar Peel. So this is a metallic liquid lipstick and the thing that I used to do to make it look natural was that I never tried to really define my lips. I thought that a little bit of color would just look okay so that I wouldn't look super dead. When I was in Singapore I used to go for these kinds of shades actually because I really wanted a contrast with the paleness, as pale as you know my skin gets because I had the wrong foundation shade. So I wanted my lips to kind of stand out and to look a little bit sexier. So I would go for these types of shades that are a little bit dark, but not too dark. I would just kind of apply them without really trying to define the edges. And this is basically how I used to do my makeup. Of course, some of you might say, but Eerie, it looks okay, but I see so many flaws. And and to me personally, it doesn't look neat, it doesn't look clean, and it's not the feel I want to give. Of course, it might look natural because there's nothing much, but I feel like even a natural look can look much neater and much better than this, and I'm going to show you how. I'm back with a clean face, and now I'm going to show you the things I did to improve the way I apply my makeup. So first of all, I'm going to start with a base. This is one of those things that I thought was just a gimmick, you know, some marketing ploy to just try and make you spend some money. But actually, this is really good. So I'm not talking about this cover effects anti-aging primer specifically. I mean, any kind of uh, primer for the face, it makes a really, 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 really huge difference. So I'm going to apply it now just with my fingers. I've seen people who apply it with a brush and I just take a little bit actually. So this is actually way too much. Even like half of this is already enough. And I just apply it where I have problems on my face and where I want my makeup to stay a little bit longer. The next thing that I improved on is foundation and how I apply it. So now I'm using a foundation that matches my skin tone better. So this shade is medium 58 warm and it is exactly the right shade. Finding the right shade is already a really, really, really great improvement. I think that when it comes to the base, finding the right shade of foundation and powder is the most important thing. So the shade is there and then the way I apply it. So I used to apply it using my fingers, just my hands. And then I decided to go on to a stippling brush and now I'm using a beauty blender. So the beauty blender is honestly for me the best way to apply my foundation because when I use the stippling brush, it looks nice, but sometimes I still have a little bit of brush streaks. And then when I used my fingers, it was just, it didn't look nice, honestly. With this, it's way, way, way better. So I'm just taking a little bit of foundation and it doesn't have to be a lot either. So remember that I'm not going for a look that is too complicated. It's supposed to be a look that can work for when you're really in a rush in the morning and you don't want to apply too much. But with a beauty blender, you can achieve good coverage even without too much product. So just a tiny amount is enough and uh, I'm not gonna go for contouring either or anything like that because it's still supposed to be small easy steps to improve your everyday makeup so you don't have to contour of course you can contour if you want the next thing that I decided to add to my routine is concealer so I already have a little bit of concealer on the same beauty blender that I used for the foundation and I'm not, again, I'm repeating myself, I'm not going for uh, crazy contouring because funny enough, there's actually many, many people who use concealer and don't use foundation. So concealer is a very basic thing that I never used to <laughs> use for some weird reason. So I'm just going to apply concealer under my eyes actually and um, dab it. So one tip that I used to give to my customers when I was working at uh, makeup counters is that try to drag your concealer kind of lower than just around here because if you have it just around your eyes or like just under here, you will look like a reverse panda. So it's going to look really unnaturally bright here and then suddenly you have your natural skin tone. But if you kind of drag it down a little bit and fade it around here, 
it's gonna look much more natural and then of course I would set the concealer with some powder so again here very simple no baking just set in it with some powder and this is just any kind of powder you want to set your concealer with and of course the last step of the base is some powder so this is still the same Marina Bode powder that I apply just the same way as I I've always applied my powder next up are the eyebrows so eyebrows are very very important and I used to always repeat to all of my customers that eyebrows frame the face depending on how your eyebrows look like it can make you look younger older angry happy and uh, if you don't believe me you can just google famous people or stars without eyebrows and I think there are some people who photoshopped some famous people without eyebrows and they just look completely different it doesn't look like the same person at all and uh, you have many photos like that of uh, famous people where they just photoshop different type of eyebrows and you can see that it makes the person look completely different so eyebrows are really 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 important and you don't need to spend a lot of time on them to make them look good so i know that you are probably expecting me to use my uh, anastasia beverly hills deep brow pomade but since today we're focusing on simplicity i am going to use this front row cosmetics dark brown pen the difference with the previous pen is that this is actually darker and it looks much better because it is not black <laughs> yeah that is a great improvement but at least it doesn't look too painted of course if you go really really close and that applies for any kind of makeup if you go this close you can see that there's makeup and that it is painted but if you're just like standing at a normal distance as normal as you stand from someone else then it doesn't really look super fake so I'm just going to fill them in and try to at least make the eyebrows look neater and a little bit more defined and that's it for the eyebrows no Instagram eyebrows even though I really really like Instagram eyebrows but they do take a little bit more time so no Instagram eyebrows no concealer I haven't spent my usual 20 minutes on my eyebrows I think it took me about two or three minutes for both of my brows because I did them really quick but the tip is to just try to get them as clean as possible for the eyes I'm going to use three things that most people have it is an eyelash curler a black eyeliner and mascara I'm going to start with the black eyeliner and I'm not going to apply it as an eyeliner I'm just going to use it on my upper waterline and this is just going to give an impression of more lashes you can skip this step if you want next i'm going to curl my lashes this is optional and you can skip it if you have lashes that naturally are curly but mine are straight and pointing down so i always try to curl them it's the first time i'm actually using this mascara it is the the ball mad lash noir mascara at this point you can add false eyelashes and i would usually have false eyelashes because my lashes are so short and i don't have many of them but if you are lucky enough to have lots of lashes then this would look already super super good for some weird reason i noticed both on me and on other people that mascara just makes wonders and even though it's not related at all i feel like it makes the whole makeup look cleaner just the same way as defined eyebrows make the whole look cleaner defined eyelashes make the whole look cleaner as well another last step is lipstick and i'm still going to use the same strange love liquid lipstick the only difference now is that i'm going to really try and make it look clean so again the whole principle of this look is to try and make it look natural clean and neat so i'm not going to just apply it and do this but I'm really going to try and define the edges so maybe this will take a little bit longer than uh, just applying it like don't have to go for a really complicated design as long as the lines on the outside are defined and clean and if you don't want to use a liquid lipstick of course you can use a normal lipstick but I would recommend to use it with a lip liner to make the edges crisper or crispier 
And that's it, the look is complete. Of course, you can always continue with some highlighter and bronzer and blush and false eyelashes and eyeshadow. And as you can see as well, this is accessible to everybody. You don't have to have any specific skills or to have lots of products because it's just foundation, concealer, powder, and it's just the shade that I changed and the way of applying the foundation and then added a little bit of concealer. There's no contouring. There's there's no baking, there's nothing really crazy about the base. There's not even any bronzer, there's no highlighter, so there's none of those things that uh, most people use nowadays that I really like. As for the lips, I usually overline my lips quite a lot, but as you can see here, I didn't overline them, and you don't have to overline your lips either if you don't know how to do it or if you don't want to do it. You can just follow your natural lip line. Now I'm not talking about the ombre, you know, the Korean style ombre because if that is the effect you're going for of course this is not going to work but this is just for me personally what I like and what I always notice on people I really like when people have really crisp defined lips even if it's a natural lip but you can always tell that they use the lip liner or used something to just make it look cleaner and nicer as for the eyes there's no eyeshadow there is no eyeshadow primer there is no glitter there's no nothing it's just mascara and some uh, eyeliner inside the upper waterline and then I just curled my lashes I think a black eyeliner is also something that most people have and uh, is not super expensive or crazy either and of course mascara is like the basic for the eyebrows it's not the Instagram eyebrows even though I really like the Instagram eyebrows it's just normal eyebrows with uh, an eyebrow pen. I was like, uh, <laughs> what was it called again? An eyebrow pen. So you don't even have to have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade or the NYX gel or any kind of gel. We can just use the pen because most people know they still just use the pen. And then you have the look ready. So those are my tips on the small things that you can improve on to make your makeup look much better without spending too much time time without needing any special skills I was about to say social skills but I thought no it's not social skills I meant special skills and that's the end of this video I hope you cookies enjoyed it and found it useful if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos and I wanted to say that some of you asked for a tutorial or something related to makeup and that's why I decided to make this video. Here you go! I hope you're happy. Those things that I improved on are all subjective. It's things that I personally enjoy and that I notice on other people. If you think that you prefer the first version and that suits you much better, then just do you as long as you're happy with your makeup. And until next time, I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye!